Hey everybody, welcome to Wall Doc Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be the long-awaited Amazon haul. It's been long-awaited because I told you guys over two weeks ago that I was going to do this haul for you, and it's taken longer than I expected for certain things to come in for whatever reason. I had a few things that was delayed, and I really wanted to have everything. I still um, am missing one or two things, I think. I will just leave them in the description box down below when I look at my orders and see what I'm missing. But this is what I have so far. And there's quite a bit of it, so we're just going to jump right in. The first thing I have is this wireless charging pad from Samsung. We actually got three of these. And the reason we got three of them is because we all have OtterBoxes on our phones and tablets. And they all have these, like, tabs where your charging cable goes. And every time I would open it or Emily would open it, I kept feeling like it was going to break, like it was going to bust off. And so I finally just said, it's time for us just to get wireless charging pads. And so there's one in Emily's room and there's one on, um, in our room and then one in the living room. And it works for all of our cell phones and all of our tablets and basically all of our devices. So it's been really, really nice because that's an empty box. You guys, <laughs> we use those immediately. The next thing I have is a pack of the paper mate pencils that are Emily's absolute favorite. This surprisingly will probably last us all school year as long as we don't lose all the pencils because the lead doesn't break and it even came with extra lead and extra erasers. So um, it's perfect. It's like everything we need as long as we don't lose the pencils. I splurged and got me a new pack of erasable pens. These are the retractable erasable pens that are Parku. Um, Parku, I think is how you would pronounce it. I use the Pilot Friction Pens forever and I love them. But I found that they were like skipping when you wrote and um, I just really didn't enjoy that. The Parku write a lot smoother. I've had a pack of black for forever. So I finally invested in the, I think it's what is this? 14 color pack. I also splurged and got a 10 count pack of mild liners, which are highlighters by Zebra, but they're more like pastel type colors. Um, I am not a fan of super fluorescent highlighting. Like I just want to highlight it to kind of mark that it was done. I don't need it to like jump off the page and scream at me. So I thought these would be perfect for that. I also picked up the What Your Third Grader Needs to Know. You guys know I love this series. We don't necessarily use it front to back or everything in it, but I love having it to reference. So I went ahead and grabbed the third grade version. And I got quite a few of these, a math journey book for the upcoming homeschool year. I will show you guys more inside um, these books on the curriculum pick, but they're they're awesome. They're a little bit older, so like fourth to sixth grade, but we're going to use some of them for third, hopefully. So we have the Math Journey Through the Animal Kingdom, the Math Journey Through Planet Earth, Math Journey Through the Human Body, Math Journey Through Space, Math Journey Through the Ocean, Math Journey Around the Wonders of the World, a math journey through extreme sports and a math journey through computer games. Okay. We also grabbed, let's see. We also got these, um, awesome activity books. Zoology for kids has 21 activities inside marine science for kids. Again, 21 activities and then plantology. This one has 30 activities in it. I also got Emily a few critical thinking books. Um, we have mind benders and then I grabbed balance benders for her too. I'm going to be honest you guys, there's like, I don't even think I can do these in here. So I'm not sure she'll be doing these this year. Um, mind benders for sure. We've been doing these. She loves them. She'll get through these. No problem. I'll probably even get her the next book of these, but the balance benders are kind of advanced. You guys, um, like I'll show you one page just so you can. If you can do it, you have better logic thinking skills than me. Um, I also got the DK visual guide to math and visual guide to grammar and punctuation. These remind me of the illustrated math and punctuation from Osborne. Um, 
but I feel like you can never have enough resources like that. So I went ahead and got these. Like I said, the grammar one is really cool too. I just feel like um, having extra ways to teach certain concepts is never a bad thing. And if you are wanting to do the daily fundamentals like we do and you don't have access to the Usborne books, I believe I haven't looked at all of the different concepts, but I believe these would be a great substitution um, for those and would go along really well with those. All right. Next we have the magic and mysteries of trees the magic and mystery of trees and this is one of those absolutely gorgeous books that takes your breath away and it is, it's just it's beautiful you guys like the pages the information um there's just so much and then when i was looking for this one the book of brilliant bugs was suggested and it has, um, it's not the same writer, but it's the same illustrator. So I knew it was going to be beautiful. And of course it is absolutely beautiful. And you can never have enough bug spot, bug stuff. So we went ahead and got this one too. And like I said, it's just really, really pretty. Okay, I wish these next three books that I had had when we did um, Passport to Adventures because they would have gone so perfectly with three of the units. In fact, I may have to redo those units because these would go so perfectly with them. And that is Castles Magnified. These books are so cool. So first of all, you have a magnifying glass in the front of the book right here. You just open it and the magnifying glass comes right out. And then inside you have like where it talks about the fuel system and then you have to find these things in this picture. So it's kind of like a Where's Waldo, but you're learning about them as you're doing that. Like you can see, there's tons of things to learn that has to do with each topic. So we have castles magnified, Egypt magnified, and pirates magnified or if you're a passport to adventure user unit two unit three and unit four all right you guys i think we're up to games let me see here yep it's game time okay i have to say you guys don't judge um but i know if you have kids then you know that this is so, anyway i'm just gonna go ahead for it so we got these games called go poop um, anything poop related is going to make a kid's day. This one is the Go Poop Special Zoo Edition. It's placed similarly to Go Fish. I'll show you the cards because it's amazing. And this is the Go Poop Special Marine Edition. I was trying to find a zoo game for Emily. She specifically asked for a zoo game. And in the search for my zoo game, I found the Zoo Poop one. Um, anyway, and it was just too funny not to get. So, like I said, you're playing Go Fish. But each card has a picture of the animal and then it has a picture of their poop and then it tells you a fact about their poop. So as you're playing Go Fish, you're learning more about the animal and its feces. All right, let me show you the marine life one too. It's just too funny. I mean, every kid loves poop, so I figured why not capitalize on that um, and play a game where we're using it for learning. Okay. I also knew that we were going to be moving into or hopefully moving into multiplication in the near future. And I have been had this game on my wish list and wanting it for forever. So I use that as an excuse to go ahead and get it. And that is Dragon Times. Um, it is basically a game where you are doing multiplication. I mean, it's just a card game for your multiplication times tables, but in a fun way. So I'm very, very excited to add this to our collection. Logic Roots also had 
like a coupon or something on Amazon, like five dollars off. So I grabbed the games that we did not yet own from them. So I got the Logic Roots Math Builder. and the froggy fractions and say cheese which i believe is beginning multiplication sorry for the glare and then the very last game i have to show you is probably by far my favorite of all of them it is Match a Mummy. It is by Lawrence King Publishing. They are the ones who make all of those amazing bingo games that most of us love, as well as the other memory games too. What I love the most about this is the things that you're matching. So you're matching like the mummy to the sarcophagus, and then it has in the booklet a way to tell you more information. This was at Emily's absolute favorite, the brain to the hook. Um, if you are studying Egypt, this is probably one of the most fun games I have seen because you get the little booklet that tells you more about each thing. The quality of the cards is phenomenal like all of the rest of their games. It just absolutely blew me away. I mean, I knew it was going to be good, but it's even better. And I'm hoping that they do more along this lines of kind of the history feel. Like, I can foresee... Um, you know, uh, match the castle and match the pirate and I don't know, all those fun things. So that is it. That is my most recent Amazon haul. And again, I will leave links in the description box down below to everything. And I will check my order history because I know there's one or two things missing. Um, I Legos is missing. I had to get Emily more Lego plates for her Lego class. Um, but I feel like there's one more thing. Whatever it is, I will leave it in the description box down below for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this. And please make me feel better about my crazy quarantine stress shopping. And tell me what you've been getting from Amazon lately.